So here I have the Super Curve Laser Machine, 1000 milliwatt watts. And some pictures from the eBay purchase, which you can find. And there's the size, it should be 21.3 times 14 times 14 centimeters. Package size is 25.6 times 18.3 times 18.3 centimeters, and the unit should be 14 by 14 by 21.3 centimeters. And there is that. And let's. So it is from that cellar best stone and all that so here's the program that they should have sent me and we'll take a look at it then. So I guess let's take a look and see what they did send me. So here's the laser itself, two four point five, eight two point five by two centimeters. Okay, let's take a look at what they sent me. So here is the box, and that's how it came. And you can actually see that it came like that. And there was the shipping label. And it came without any tape on it. No packaging tape, so you can easily open it. And the user menu. User menu in more than one language. Okay, so here we have the goggles and the various tape only not on the box to prevent people from opening it but this tape on this and And some cables. So there's a proper cable. And the USB cable. And it is regular phone cable. Samsung cable, I guess. That's nice. So CD with the program that should be on there, and I don't have a lap to sit in my laptop, so I guess I'll have to copy from desktop. Yeah, and there's some test paper, leather, white leather, fake leather, I guess, and some, some wood. Yeah, nice wood. Okay, there's Three millimeters by almost five millimeters. So this is the laser. So this uh -huh. and it is two point five, two point five. Uh, it's going to six or seven. And the diameter five. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Short cable. And and this unit. So there's the 
Fan. There is all that. Have to connect it to there. So there's the cables and stuff like that. Just connectors. And this is a test piece, I guess. And there's two gums. Metal. Now that that is done, let's see what else we can see. I'm guessing now let's connect it to the computer and see how it works. So let's put in the CD. Same thing as the booklet. So I'm guessing that's the program. And this is the other version language. And that's the program. So let's copy to copy it to USB and put it put it on the laptop. So I have it on my USB and I'll copy it to the computer. Okay, and let's open the program. Um, okay, didn't open. Let's open with administrator. And again, it didn't open. Okay, that's annoying. Ah, the security removed the program. Okay. So that's stupid. Let's download, download it from the CD again. So I actually added, copy it again, and add it to the zip file. So if it deletes again, I'll be able to open it with zip. Does not open. So let's try again. Oh, it's gone. Yep. So let's open this folder. No access. Uh, let's disable. Yeah. 
does not open. Why? So every time I add or copy the program from the zip file, it deletes the program. So my antivirus program is very good that it deletes even the stuff I need. So it doesn't delete the zip file, 7z, but it deletes the exe program even though i disabled the program disabled the northern antivirus still deletes it when i try to open it i tried once or twice and it just deletes it something opened so Automatic connection failed, no port is available, if USB is connected, probably caused by driver. Install the driver right now. Okay. Install. I disabled all the antivirus. Successful. I guess I can close it. Whatever, just need installing once, please wait. Also, you can see and there is the laser. I'm waiting. Let's make sure. It's off. While it's doing that, I'll just pause. So I actually closed the program and opened it again, and it opened. So now it's open. So let's drop in a picture and try to see if it works. 